Hello guys and welcome to episode 53 of my Rome 2 Total War campaign, Caesar in Gaul playing as the Romans and today we're beating back the Mandubii once again in their siege on Bibracti. Now it's only the first garrison today against the horns of Canunus. We don't have a garrison army uh, like a general here so we're just going to have to work with the garrison forces which really sucks. So we'll try and do as much damage to this army as we can, but I'm not holding up too much hope that we'll actually defend this, but we will see as we continue into the battle. So here we are in Bibracti. And once again, they are using ladders, but they are also using rams. That is not good at all. I was hoping I'd be able to do what I did in the last episode and sort of make some sort of semicircle around the exits from the walls. And by doing that, I could just crush them as soon as they come down. But if they're going to break open the gate, that's going to be really, really bad for us. Like, so bad. So what I'm going to have to do, let's get both my units of skirmishers on the wall. And we'll make them throw down flaming ammunition. And hopefully we can burn these rams before they break down the gate. Now I'm going to set up my legionaries at the bottom of each stairwell. We bring this one back a bit. Same here. And then what we can do is we can flank with the Vigilays. On either side. Keep some in reserve. We'll keep my Celtic Warriors and Levy Freeman in reserve. And the plebs can be behind them. So let's see if we can pull this off. We might have to send some units to this tower actually. Let's send one unit over here just in case. And yeah, all hope is really on me burning down one of these rams or maybe both. Seems that they are going to come up on this wall here. And I'm hoping that they will walk through the gatehouse to come down rather than round to this tower. We'll have to wait and see though. Let's uh, fast forward it if we can. Doesn't look like we can. I am on legendary battle difficulty so I don't think it's actually letting me. Normally I can. Maybe they've made some changes. So we'll just wait this out then. And hopefully my flaming javelins will do the job. The arrow tower nearly into range. I can start firing flaming shots as well. But it's not even firing at the ram. It's firing at the unit on it. That's annoying. And with my skirmishers, can I tell them specifically to target the ram? I hope I can. Tower's firing away now. Really, really hoping that I can do some serious fire damage to this ram. My skirmishers will be in range shortly. Ready. And they can fire away. So a lot of the flaming javelins are landing on the battering ram, but they don't seem to 
actually be doing too much to it. Taking a lot of damage, but battering ram still very much alive. No oil on this gate, so that's not going to help destroy the battering ram. And here come the enemy. Let's turn these guys off. Flaming rounds. Our general is under attack. These missiles coming into the back of these men is actually really good for us. Also, the volleys from the legionaries here with the peeler is very good as well. Now, what I might be able to do is if they all funnel down this one exit here, I can just block that off with the legionaries. Yeah, that's pretty bad. It's so time to block off the gate with the bigger lays. Seems my skirmishes are occupied up here. But they're still throwing down the javelins where they can. Looks like some units coming down this tower. Some spear warriors attacking my Celtic warriors. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I send over these Levy Freemen there as well to help defend that tower. Looks like we've dealt with one unit of spear warriors nearly. The men are wavering. Kill off as many of those as we can before the rest come down. Back, back now. Pull back. Double time. Skirmishers. Okay, so we have one unit still alive on top of the gate. Let them break out a little bit and we can charge back in. So hopefully we'll cut them all down there. Let's get the Levy Freeman in here to help out with the Spear Warriors. Celtic warriors don't really want to come in, apparently. Maybe this unit does. Seem to be just be cheering through the gate. You don't want to help out your troops? That's fine by me. Legionaries holding strong. Sure, we push in from the side as well. How's the fight going over here? Looks like we're doing okay. We should come out on top just because of numbers. But on this side, legionaries should eventually make these units break. Although it will take a while because they are spear warriors and they do have good defense value. Uh, it might be worth just sort of peeling Pull back, back the troops. We'll get the bigger lays out of the way. And this way we'll get a better flanking bonus onto these troops. Commander. 
So you can see this legionary line has engaged and now we can get the flanking bonus in by attacking from this direction. Now that works out really nicely because a lot of these units are kind of trapped. Getting hit from two sides. Over on this side, Spear Warriors. The morale's starting to be hurt quite a bit. The enemy's Celtic Warriors still just cheering on the fight. All the extra units up here not doing anything at the moment. Probably just as well. Because it's allowing us to kill off their units of spear warriors. Now if I withdraw this unit, withdraw this unit as well, what we can do is engage with just this unit and these legionaries can throw their peeler. Possibly. There we go. That's really, really good. I did quite a lot of damage. We have captured a tower. Looks like on this side, it's job done. Let's bring this legionary unit back and we'll engage from the left side. Are they actually going to engage us? Ah, oh, there we go. charge into them. And my Levy Freeman here should be able to throw some javelins into this melee. Let's get my swordsman back over here. There we go. One unit of Spear Warriors broken. And there goes the second. Great. Now we're going to capture back the gatehouse. What we shall do is set up a surrounding force as they come through the gate. As of course if they even want to come through. If not, we'll just pepper them with the towers. We have captured a tower. So far, so good. Wish I could speed it up. Because at the moment nothing is happening. Lots of light horse to deal with. Imagine if they'd actually pushed through with everything they had. I would have lost this battle a long time ago. Beer warriors coming back. Looks like they want round two. Sorry if this isn't the most thrilling gameplay. Seems like one unit remembers how to go through the gate though. Well, a few of my units got hit by friendly fire then. That's annoying. One of our 
units has used all its ammunition. So these units now being hit by the backside of this tower by the looks of things. Let's charge in with this unit of these rays. And that did a lot of damage just in the charge. Now they've completely routed. Shattered they are. Get my men back into position. And may the slaughter continue. We have captured a tower. So here goes again. More Celtic warriors just dying for free. And every unit that we take out is a victory for us. Because I was not expecting to win this battle. So, basically, the more units we can make completely shatter and get destroyed, the better. Because it will mean that when I come back, it will be easier to take over. Or at least this army will be easier to destroy. So I think what's stopping them from going through the gate here is probably like this bugged battering ram or something. Battering ram's actually getting on fire. Maybe if it just gets destroyed, what will happen is the second one will move up. Although the gate's are already broken, so that doesn't even make sense. They have no reason to be standing there right now. They should be pushing through onto my legionaries, who have held really well so far. We haven't actually lost too many legionaries. This one big LA is feeling brave. He's just standing in the middle and getting mocked. <laughs> Nobody's letting him back through the shield wall. <laughs> anyway, we've destroyed that uh, unit of Celtic Warriors. This unit of Celtic Warriors is waiting to be destroyed by the looks of things. We've got a unit of Celtic warriors running to the gate now. Maybe they will run through. But this has actually given us a chance. Because if there is only, what is this, spear warriors and a no sworn unit left, we might have enough infantry to deal with that. The light horse will get cut down really easily by all the spear units, like all my bigger lays. So they're not really an issue uh, on their own. But still, more Celtic warriors dying one by one. And it looks like this unit might come straight through the gate. Thank God. No? No. I'm just going to stand there. Well, that's just great. What I'm probably going to do, guys, just so that this uh, gets a bit more interesting, I'm just going to wait, you know, and if anything exciting happens, then I'll show it to you else. I'll probably just cut out the footage of them dying because this is just a bit silly and it's not very fun to watch at all, even from my end, even though it is technically winning me the battle, it's, it's just a bug and at the end of the day, I've kind of had enough. So we'll just let this play out. And I'll see you in a bit. Looks like we finally set the ram on fire. All of the men are dead, as you can see. Uh, they sent some mercenary Gallic hunters here. They've all been wiped out as well. So now I'm just hoping that when this light battering ram actually gets destroyed, that they actually send units towards me. We might be able to defend it from now, but we'll see. 
battering ram is destroyed, will they move up? That is the question. And the answer looks like no. What I might try is sending out a bigger lay unit to the front of the gate. And it might bait them toward me. Or it will just get my bigger lays killed because they'll take scorpion fire. One of the two. So this is going to give a target to the scorpions. But will the rest of the units take the bait? It looks like it. Okay. Game on. Units moving toward my position. What I'm going to do is run these fellas back inside. We'll do that once they get close. Okay, so they're in range of the arrow tower now. Let's take them back inside the settlement. We've unleashed the beast. A lot of these light horse actually being taken out by the missile fire from the towers. Spear Warriors are going to follow my units through the gate though, so it looks like they will come through. And here goes the big fight. Thank God. Finally happened. Those light horse aren't going to be going very far. I can assure you that. Let's get the Levy Freeman in there. What we can do is pack them in from this side as well. If we get one of these units to vi or Vigilates to engage, that might be a plan. So we're going to be slaughtering horsemen. Some Oathsworn are coming in now though. And they will start cutting down my troops. Once the horsemen are dead at least. I'm just hoping that a lot of these light horse die and we actually kill off a lot of the units. At the moment it seems that my skirmishers are being hit by scorpion fire. What I'm going to do is move them behind the building here so that they can't be hit anymore. Because if they route it might affect the morale of the men below and I don't want that to happen. Okay, seems we're doing well here. I need to actually get this unit of Vigilates to move back. We can get another one in its place because the morale is low there. Get my Celtic Warriors to move round on that side. Okay, looks like they actually engaged. That's okay as well.
Gonna get this unit of Vigilates back. Ah, the units have come down from the tower. And it's really, really harming my legionary unit. So we're going to pull back. Reset the defensive line. We're going to lose our right flank bonus. But I saved my general, so totally worth it. Advancing through the Vigilates there with the Celtic Warriors. They should help out cutting down these horsemen. It would be really good if I had some units with uh, javelins right now. Because that would slaughter these horsemen. At least my general didn't die somehow. But I won't complain. We are doing so much damage. I'm just really concerned about the Oathsworn. Celtic Warriors taking a morale hit. Let's uh, bring them back through the lines. Allow that to reset. So many light horse dying. Now what I'm going to have to do once all of the horsemen are dead is bring back the forces and allow them to push through and then collapse on them from both sides. There's still quite a few to kill. As long as my men hold their positions, we should be okay. On this side, the Oswald don't, like don't look like they want to actually do anything, which is fine by me. Allows us to just kill off more like horse. Those horsemen are shaken. Only 16 of them left. I'm just pushing really, really hard into my lines, and I think it's killing a lot of them off. Oh dear, these uh, big allays, I do not want them to rout. Thank you very much. I've retreated the wrong ones. Oh dear. I've uh, broke my lines on that side. Right, so we'll bring the routing ones back. We'll charge forward with the other Vigilates. There we go. That's uh, filled the void. Thank God. Is that all the horsemen dead? Nearly. One unit of horsemen left. Need to make sure that my men hold the lines and that we let them come to us. So we're now killing off unit after unit. Spear warriors are nearly entirely destroyed. Looks like the only unit that's going to be left alive at this rate 
is the Osworn. And we can take on one Osworn unit with all these men. Our men flee the field of battle. Ah, that's pretty bad. This is a shameful display. My Levy Freeman routing there. My horse charging in again. They're going to take a lot of damage from the bigger lays. The line holding strong here. Look at all the bodies. An entire unit has perished. So many like dead horses that they're fighting through at the moment. Imagine how traumatizing that would be. Bring back the Vigilays on the right flank there. Jupiter gives us strength. Oh, don't, don't route. Please don't route. Hold the line, Vigilays. Please, God. Let's get all these men in there. Bring back these Vigilays and replace them with those ones. Push forward, my general. Oh no, the bigger lays routed. That's really, really bad. Don't fail me now, men. We've come this far. It may have been a cheated victory so far. But, uh, who really cares at the end of the day? If we can pull off this defense now, it's totally worth it. Just need my legionaries to hold on a little bit longer. Spears ready. Yes, Disengage those Vigilay so they don't rout. Bring them round to support these legionaries. The plebs are providing moral support at the moment. Oh, these men are really fatigued. I'm going to let them rest. Spearman, at the ready. I'm going to charge in these bigger lays and move these ones back. Maybe it's time to throw in the plebs. I think it is. At the moment, all of my units currently being affected by morale. Maybe if we can pack in the numbers, it will work out in our favour. Made some Celtic skirmishes route. That works out well. Okay, the plebs not lasting very long at all. Let's bring back the other plebs before they cause the chain route. And let's get these legionaries involved. Slowly chipping into the O Swarm, but if I'm honest, it's not looking great. This is really going to go down to the last man. Right, 
your service. Yes, Commander. Order. Ready and waiting. Do not rout legionaries. We need you. Oh, ah, they've gone. The field of battle. How this frustrating. We just can't get round these guys. Even if we did, I don't think it would matter. That's the biggest trouble here. As soon as these Vigilades engage now, they are pretty much routing instantly. There's only so many times you can do this thing where you pull them back and put them back in before they just rout. They need actual men in order to do this. No matter how much they stand back and do nothing. Our men flee the field of battle. Charge in. One last charge. I'm gonna pull my, back my general now. We'll set up one last defensive line with the plebs. And what we can try and do is keep the skirmishes on the Our gate. Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. And then if they move out of range of the gate, we can capture it and fire at them in the back with our gatehouse. So let's see if we can make this work. Our men flee Not sure if we can. This is a shameful display. Apparently, they just want to stand there. Ready! Keep watch! Maybe if I move these fellas off the wall. No, they're going to capture the gate. I can't let them do that. Else that will just spell doom. So now what? Do we just wait until they attack me? Like, what do I do in this situation? You have no more men except my legionaries and my plebs. 18 men against 44 Oathsworn and 56 Celtic warriors. And the only other thing I can do at this point, unless they attack me, is just wait until the battle ends and win by timed victory. Let's try it. It's our last hope. And so the countdown begins. We have about five seconds left until the end of the battle. We're going to win by timed victory. It may seem a bit cheap, but uh, I think I want to get one back on the game after what it's put me through in this campaign so far. So I just decided to wait it out. I just did something else while the battle time was going down. And yeah, here we are. <laughs> Costly victory. I'll take it. We'll end the battle there. We lost 1,223 men and we killed 1,458. Great job, Bibracti. You killed off a lot of men. Let's uh, release those captives. And I'm pretty sure another army will immediately siege the settlement. I think we're going to have to leave this one till the next episode, guys. Because unfortunately, it has been my time. I've been saying for about an hour. Probably more. Waiting for that battle to finish. So yeah, we're going to have to leave it here. I'm a bit demoralized after that victory. And we might just have to do it all over again. But that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.